Hi, it's Digital Femme and welcome to my channel. So you know what? I tried to see if I could videotape using my iPhone and put, what is it? First using the back facing camera, which pointed out to my window and my palm plant. And then I thought, oh, I could just switch it to my front facing camera and you can't. Because if you want to, then the video stops and whatever. So that doesn't work. At least I found out. Anyway, in this video, it's just going to be another chit chat. My previous video was a late night chit chat. And now it is a Saturday afternoon chit chat. I could have done Saturday morning, but no. I ended up, what time? I ended up going to bed around 3.30 in the morning because I wanted to edit my video or upload it. And then, anyway, I think I fell asleep. Then so I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and I was like, oh, maybe I should wake up now. Then I was like, I don't think so because I only slept for two and a half hours. And please, I am a, like I said in my previous video, I'm a night person. So what in the world am I doing up at 5.30 on a Saturday? So then I kind of like, you know, went back to bed or just put my head back down and slept. And I woke up at like 10 10 3 in the morning so i'm like okay time to get up i think i had enough sleep but i was still tired and now i feel like all achy so it, this video is just yeah like what i said it's another video and if you want to continue or want to hear more of my no content chit chat then continue watching hi i'm glad you stayed so i'm doing it again i'm holding my iphone this time not in portrait mode like i did in my last video because then I had to like, I had these like black spaces. So I ended up, you know what, what am I going to do with these black spaces? So I, I, what is it? I arranged the video image to one side and then I filled it up with like stuff. And then I put it in another side and you know, I'll put, I'll put the link in the description to my previous video. So you'll know what I mean. But now I'm doing the same thing. I'm holding up my iPhone and I need to work out my arms. Like, Literally, now I'm resting my elbow on my knee because just to prop it because like I could feel a strain. Oh, I haven't been working out in ages. And why? Because I get up, then I got to be in a meeting in the morning. Every morning I have a meeting for like 30 minutes that sometimes runs into an hour, an hour and a half. And then it runs into another meeting, another meeting, another meeting. But I am always on the internet and I'm not complaining. I am just stating so I'm a, I'm a digital strategist for a marketing company in Toronto. And I've been remo working remotely for 10, about, about 10 years. I keep saying that once in a while in my videos. And yeah, I work remotely and I wanted that kind of life. But I feel like re working remotely doesn't necessarily mean you have to always be on the internet all day. I mean, I would, it would be nice if, and you know what, it would be not, obviously I have to utilize the, the internet because there are files I have to upload. I literally do things on websites. I literally access email campaigns and platforms and integrate and work that out and, mm -hmm -hmm, and, you know, graphics and content like text and all that. So yeah, but I'm just realizing that. I need to, and I don't know how I'm going to, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna to talk to the CEO, I don't know, but we need to figure out, the, our whole team needs to figure out like only certain days should we be, you know what? I'm just gonna stop there because this is not the video. I can just go on and on and on and on. So yeah, this is the long weekend here in Canada and it's called, I don't know what it's called. Oh yeah, it's called Civic Holiday civic holiday what does that even mean i could look it up on wikipedia and i did last night and i don't remember something about civic holiday i think the banks are closed government's closed except stores are open yay and stuff like that oh it's another holiday i'm pretty sure so here's the thing when people say don't you know what holiday it is because i ask sometimes i ask well what's the purpose of this holiday and some people go don't you know what holiday it is then i'm like well no because act actually when i went to the states when i lived in the states They've had, they have holidays that Canadians don't have. And then I moved to Germany. And then the Germans have other holidays that other European countries don't have. And then when I moved back to Toronto, they ended up having new holidays. Well, actually I'm, I'm embellishing. Apparently they only had one additional holiday, which is called Family Day. And I'm like, Family Day? 
okay all right <laughs> sure why not because isn't all the other holidays a family day like isn't christmas a family day easter uh what july 1st canada day july 4th whatever isn't um all the other holidays family days mother's day father's day well that's not a holiday you don't get off for that but you know what i mean like aren't all days you spend with your family and if you don't have a family mm, i don't know whatever sorry or not sorry so that was just weird family day that's kind of like redundant to me but you know that's just how my brain works yeah so oh the lighting is a lot this is different lighting obviously i'm not even using any lighting i'm just using the lighting from my window which i'm gonna turn over see there's my window and that's all the lighting i'm using just coming i'm not even up on the light see that okay you know what i'm just gonna make you guys dizzy so I just love to chit chat. I honestly, uh, before Oprah had a talk show, or you know what I loved? I love Carol Burnett, the Carol Burnett show. And I love the Sonny and Cher shows. So I'm dating myself. And I love the Don and Marie Osmond. I love comedy. I love like the slapstick kind of comedy, the variety show. I can't sing, so forget about that. But I always wanted my own talk show, like literally, like when, like, I used to watch Phil Donahue. Oh, I loved Phil Donahue. I just love how he interviewed people and stuff. And then I think the first, I think, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure, but I feel that Oprah, to me, was the first female talk show host that I ever really watched. I know there was Sally Jesse Raphael and others and some other blonde chick that had, I don't know, that had, a breast breast implants and then she took her breast implants off i don't know there were so many but i always wanted to have a talk show and i always wanted to just interview people and get people on as guests like honestly i wanted to do that for like 40 years 30 years and i know like you can like you everybody's doing it already like and by everybody i mean anybody can have access to it you just like have a camera even if before video was enabled or video there was a video feature in camera phones in north america because you know in china and japan they were using video calling and video like long before it ever came in north america long 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 before you can just do a have a video podcast or a audio podcast anybody could do it now so i should be doing it but i'm not I'm just going to sit back in my bedroom. I'm still in my bedroom. Or, you know what? I can just walk around now because I'm not attached to, excuse me, my phone isn't attached to my Boo Yeti mic. I just thought of spending time in bed on a Saturday. And you know what I ended up watching? For some reason, I was uploading my YouTube. And I was, I don't know, I was, I was looking at my YouTube channel and my stats and analytics with my other YouTube channel. And then I saw this YouTube video about Aubrey Plaza. And I love her. I kind I kind of see I've seen her in some shows and maybe movies, but I never really, you know, investigated who is she, what's her life like. But somebody did a video on like splices of how funny she is and just her, her dry sense of humor. And so I watched that video and it had clips of all of her not all, but a few of her interviews with Letterman, Jimmy Fallon, uh what's that guy's name from the John something show. Anyway, and she was so funny and I and I watched her monologue for the Independent Spirit Awards this year or last year and she was singing I think it was a Judy Garland song which by the way I she told she said in another video that she really loved Judy Garland growing up like Judy Garland was one of her favorite actresses or singers or whatever and so she sang I think Judgment Day I don't know if Judy Garland first sang it I think it was but it was really good and I, and I was looking at her and she's so beautiful to me Aubrey Plaza in my opinion she's like glamorous Hollywood back in the like 40s 50s days she's like glamorous she looks like glamorous Hollywood mixed with goth and a bit of Quentin Tarantino characters and something else like she's like amazing I just love her. I love how she looks. I think she's so beautiful. I love how she's naturally humorous and funny in her own way. And that's just her. And it's adorable. It's hot in a weird way. And she's weird in a hot way. And I'm not a lesbian. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that I can really appreciate her. She's like, yeah, I just, 
I'm so into her now just this morning just today so I'm just gonna like end up watching Aubrey so I'm going to so Aubrey Plaza is going to be like a a actress or a human being that would be one of those people to just follow uh, I'm not follow stock but like you know watch her movies and really watch her videos I really enjoy her videos so I just like went made my cup of coffee and drank sat in my bed so now I'm gonna get up and I'm just gonna walk to the living room I haven't really been in the living room today well kind of I passed through it on the way to the kitchen but that's crazy so excuse me if you see the back of my messy well yeah so you see my band anyway I'm, we're moving we're moving the lighting is changing whoa and now we're in the living room and I'm looking at myself oh and there's my bathroom you know what why would I even do a, a apartment tour or a room tour when who watches me anyway but I'm going to do it so there's my kitchen well first of all I'm gonna show you my bedroom which is kind of messy because I just got out of it so excuse me so there's my bedroom look at that there's my bedroom and in my bedroom uh, there's my window that I showed you and I recently anyway I have a, like a little garden there and then I got my another garden look at that look at my garden and then I got my electric or electric digital piano then I got like my hats my hats on my little basket thingy and then oh here I keep I keep wondering then I have like my little clothes that I kind of like wear oh look you can't even see me this is boring oh look and I got my little camera my little instax which I haven't used in ages so I'm kind of wondering if does the battery even work or is the film old okay then we go into the hallway and i always have this for feng shui and then there's my living room look at that and that that area is my little pseudo youtube studio where, where i do my youtube videos now i do then here's my little foyer if you want to call it a foyer see that and there's like archery stuff like we don't need to talk about that and then here's my bathroom and in my bathroom i hang my little hat because I wear it and it's the summer and my little I like this I really like my guess what's it called uh, fanny pack I bought it on sale and this is my what is this roots I can't remember what this is anyway I don't can't remember I think it's roots and here's my bathroom I like everything black and white and I really wish this is like an old building and I really wish this was like white or marble or something but whatever and I love owls then I have my little black, I think this is that Go Koji thing in Got Shepherd's Drug Mart where you do your face, I don't know. And then there's my thing, Never mind. I'm not gonna go. And then we go into my living room. See, look at that, isn't that like a really great view? Well, to me anyway. So obviously the three colors in my apartment, in my 400 plus square foot apartment is white, black, and green because I want it that way. And here's my living room. And then we go into my kitchen. I'm gonna flip the light switch. And there is my kitchen. Oh, this is great. Look at it, look at my kitchen. It's a very small kitchen, but I love it. It works and you know, like I said, everything's white. And there's like, I have storage up there. And yeah, that's about it. And this, I, I recommend everybody do this. This is a garbage can. Sometimes when people come over, excuse me, I burped. Sometimes when people come over, they say, where's your garbage can? Well, this is my garbage can. And they're like, Oh, I didn't know it was a garbage can. Well, that's a trick. You don't want a garbage can to look like a garbage can because that's just gross. So then, yeah, then I have something. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show you my garbage. And then so there. That's the view from the kitchen into my. See, this is a really small apartment, but I love it. It absolutely just works for me. And then here's my plant. Yes, yes. So one of my goals in living in this apartment. I have been in this building since 2013. So what is that? Seven years I've been living in this apartment and I've lived in, what? this is my third apartment living in this building. And this is a small apartment. This is one of the smallest apartments. And I said, you know what? You know what I want to do with this? This would make a great project to have like an urban jungle. And I do, look at that. Look at my urban jungle. Some people might not like it because some people like my sister, she gets weirded out by these hanging viney things, but whatever, that's her. And then here's my little YouTube studio over here. Can you see that? 
and I still have to take out the sticker. I don't know why. And then over here, I'm making everybody dizzy, is where I work. This is where I remote, remote work. And then here's my, this plant, the Monsera Deliciosa. This was really, really small. Like, I'll show you a video or maybe not. And then anyway, and then here's my fiddly fig. Look at that, all the way up to the ceiling. I know, it's like, oh, you're hurting your plant. But it's like, I don't want to cut it. So here's the thing, I don't want to cut the plant. But I should, but it seems to be, you know, I'm just gonna leave it. And then there, then there's that other soft box, which I don't ever use anymore, which sometimes I do. And then that's it, that's it. So I'm going to turn off the light because I'm really like, I don't like leaving lights on. You know, I wanna like conserve. So I gotta turn off the lights. And yeah, this is a little, it's not a room tour, it's an apartment tour. So, oh, I'm gonna sit in my, on this little, so yeah, I'm back here and usually I'll have my video here and then I'll put the ring light. But this is it. So this is supposed to be a chit chat that turned into a apartment tour that nobody really cares about, but it's fine because one day if I get YouTube famous, somebody will research this and go, oh look, this was the apartment she used to live in before she was YouTube famous. And now like she's jet setting and living in LA. I kind of want to live in LA. I want to live in California. At least I want to live in LA. I don't know why. I just feel like it's not the Hollywood thing. It's not the, it's just, there's an energy in LA or California that I just feel, I just gravitate to. So that's one of my goals is to kind of like go to California and I don't care what anybody says. I just, I just, the beach. I just gotta live by water, you know, love it. Or I wanna live in Spain. I love, or I, I just love the ocean or the Mediterranean and then there's like the mountains. So I'm holding this and my arm's getting really tired. So this is my Saturday morning chit chat. And I think this is my 51st video or 50th. I still didn't check from last night. This is probably the 51st video in the 1166 day challenge. And what that is, like I keep saying it in every video almost, is choosing to do one thing for one hour a day for 66 days straight. And I decided to do a video every day for 66 days, days straight just to jumpstart this YouTube channel that I started in 2008. And I don't know, this might be the 50th. I feel like, I feel very blabby lately. And by lately, I'm always blabby, but I feel blabby like last night and today. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this as, you know what, I might just do another video later on. I'm just gonna go with it, I don't really care. Okay, well, hope everybody has a great day or a great evening and thanks for watching. Oh, you might wanna consider subscribing over here if you want because you never know i might come up with a video that uh, will inspire you or oops motivate you to do something or just make you laugh maybe or whatever but do consider subscribing if you want okay bye